Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 8th, 2021. Well, last week we had an amazing recovery by the bulls, and it seems like the bears may have gone back into hibernation. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, grab ourselves something to drink, and get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning, everyone, from a very, very chilly Nebraska morning. I, last I looked, it was 18 below here. And I know this cold snap is affecting a lot of folks across the United States. So be safe out there. It is a little bit chilly. So I guess we have plenty of time to stay inside and take a look at our charts and see what's going on. So how about we do that? How about we dig into some of these technicals and see if we can glean some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, if we take a look, I'm going to draw a trend up here. Let's notice that we have broken this downtrend break. Um, we broke the uptrend in a downtrend move and we have recovered that substantially and notice that we've pushed back through some pretty significant support levels here in the Dow. Now if I were to draw a channel on here notice we've still got some upside room that we could go in that channel if those bulls want to stay on the gas and it seems like the bears have just really gone back into hibernation like uh, they just gave up um, really quickly kind of surprising but as we continue to push up um, let's stay with this bullish trend and continue to move with the market now there's going to be a lot of hopefulness here um, this week we have Congress trying to move forward with the 1.9 trillion dollar stimulus bill and I suspect there's tremendous hopefulness that that is going to happen. Um, one thing that we'll have to pay attention to, and I'm beginning to get, to get a little bit concerned about, is the fact that we may have already priced in that um, stimulus bill. So what that means is, is we could get the stimulus bill and a couple of days later see the market uh, starting to pull back. I can't say that that's true, but I am concerned that we have priced it in and that there may be a little bit of irrational exuberance starting to occur here in the market. But let's just stay with the trend. Let's stay focused on the price action of the chart. Stay with the trend, but just always kind of keep in mind that we could have that reaction back to the downside as we continue to extend. There's so many stocks that are very, very expensive in this market. And we'll talk about that here in just a second. But let's stay with this trend and keep moving moving to the upside. One thing I think was very positive is that we had a successful test of the 50 day moving average. We're holding on to that 50 day. So we could continue to move on up. Now let's not rule out the possibility as well, breaking back through up here that we kind of run out of energy. We could see a little bit of consolidation that occurs here. And if that doesn't occur, always be aware of the possibility that we could get a little bit of a profit taking wave that comes into the market so kind of keep that in mind right now the bulls are pushing for an upside move we're looking at the dow trying to move up or gap up 130 points this morning in the dow future so bulls are in control let's take a look at the spy spy also pushing to new record highs just continuing to push and push and push to the upside watch this right in here as we broke through that resistance area now any kind of rest or pullback in here um, sets up a bullish potential move to the upside so let's watch that if we do rest or consolidate or pull back let's see that we hold above this trend hold above some support in this level and see if we can push on up from there but I wouldn't be surprised in any point in time after this many days and such a big rally back up if we get that little bit of profit taking wave or a little bit of softness that could come into the market at any time let's take a look at the cues now cues also ripping to the upside breaking through but I, I did see a little bit more struggle in the nasdaq 
um, late last week, we, we had just these little, uh, little tiny bit of struggle in here, making me suggest that maybe some of those big tech firms have kind of reached some limits that they might actually catch a little bit of selling wave in here or just a consolidating resting wave in here. So watch that close. And this is just how a market moves. We move up in a trend. We climbed that wall of worry here, and now maybe a little rest or consolidation could come into the market, and that doesn't turn this bearish at all. In fact, it sets up more upside opportunity. So keep a close eye on that. NASDAQ may be just a little bit extended out. And then let's take a look at IWM. IWM, I continue to think, remains tremendously extended. And as we continue to push those energy prices and financial prices higher, um, that continues to support this chart. So we broke through that resistance level. We're moving on up. But I still have to, when I pull this chart back, I still have to point out the fact just how parabolic this market is. I think we're getting just a little bit silly here in a lot of places in the market and that can continue i don't want to suggest that that's going to stop anytime soon that can continue but we really should be aware of it and we really should stay on our toes and just don't get caught up in the idea that the market will never fall again because trust me it will and we want to be um, on our toes and prepared for that possibility stay with the trend but don't get um, overextended or don't overtrade this market chasing already extended stocks. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX has been one of those perplexing can't type this morning one of those perplexing things but um, in the market but it's been good to see here just recently this really big breakdown in that VIX so notice right here we had this little uptrend here in the VIX and we have now broken that to the downside I think that is a good sign for the market what we want to continue to do is we want to continue to break down below this price support get down in here and break down if we're going to make new record highs if we're going to continue to push push up the VIX should not be this elevated. We should be seeing the VIX down in the mid to lower teens um, right now um, with the elevation that we are. So last thing we want to do is we don't want to see this spike back up. And remember, I've been calling for that concern or that watch that this is not going to be a problem on this spike as long as we don't hold this area as a support. That's been solved and we're not holding that as support. So that volatility is coming in just a little bit and we need to see this pushing on lower. So continue to watch that. If we continue to drop fear out of the market, that's gonna ease a lot of pressure on a lot of things and, and um, probably help out for that upside move. Let's take a look at T2122. Now I gotta tell you, this is the one that's giving me a little bit of concern for the market. We're going to be pushing the market higher here this morning. Notice that we are back up here in that bearish reversal zone. And I know this has been a, a, a unique situation where we're just pushing, pushing, pushing all bulls all the time. But I got to tell you, I have never seen a time when we've pushed up in here that we haven't ended up pulling back. So Although we've stayed up here and we've extended and we continue to rally, just keep in mind that we could have a profit-taking wave that comes in at any time. A little bit of rest or consolidation might be due after such a strong move up. So watch that in here carefully. I don't suspect at this point with fear dropping the way we are that we're gonna see us plunge right back down. I'm not suggesting that. But just a rest or pullback could move, you know, consolidation could pull this back into here and that opens up more upside opportunity if we can just rest here a bit. So watch for that possibility and just watch for that possibility of just a little bit of profit taking that could come into the market at any time. Let's take a look at our um, uh, T2101, which is the absolute breadth indicator. Now, one of the things that has been a concern for me is as we continue to push this market to new record highs is that our overall breadth of the market um, has been struggling. And although the last couple of days we've seen a nice little increase in breadth 
on the buy wave, that is a good sign. Let's see if we can actually push on out. What I, what I worry about is the possibility that we may be running out of that bullish energy that everybody's in. And we will reach a point at some, at some time in the market where everybody that's going to be in is in. All in the market's been able to suck in all the money that it possibly can. That's kind of when the music stops. And we saw this, um, I saw this um, clearly in 1999. When, the market just kept sucking in money and sucking in money and sucking in money. And then the music stopped and we found out there were no more chairs left. So um, just be careful of that possibility. And I see this as maybe one of those indicators that we may be running a little bit. Um, we're leaning out a little bit on all of this money that might be um, able to suck into the market. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar has a few things that, well, uh, this week that we're gonna wanna pay attention to, but honestly, one of the lightest um, economic calendar weeks I've seen in some time. And I apologize, I continue to pick up those windows. Um, as you can see here, there's really nothing going on today. We've got a Fed speaker out here, some bond auctions, nothing going on. And virtually nothing going on here on Tuesday, we got the job openings report. I doubt that that's going to move us around much. And we've got a Fed speaker. But other than that, a uh, pretty light um, day. And then we have um, a little bit little bit more with the CPI here. That could certainly move us around. The petroleum status, as you know, can move us around. And then we've got Jerome Powell. Um, uh, so um, this will be an interesting one when Jerome speaks. It always, uh, you know, when the Fed talks, you want to pay attention. So watch that closely. But overall, a very, very light week this week on the calendar. Notice we have jobless claims here um, that could move us. But other than that, man, this is there's not much going on here. Then on the earnings calendar, we're going to have a relatively busy week. It's not going to be huge, but a relatively relatively busy week. And um, today we've got uh, 60 some companies reporting earnings. And um, let's take a look at some of these notables that I've pulled out for today. Let's take a look at um, ACM. ACM will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. This has been in that nice little bullish upside move. Um, CHGG. Um, will be reporting today and this um, as well pushing on through very bullish upside move here in the chart trying to break through looking good ENR ENR looks like they're popping huge this morning um, perhaps their earnings report is already out keep an eye on that this is a big breakout and it looks like we may be pushing up here to test some resistance highs um, in that chart uh, nice looking chart um, take a look at KKR. KKR will be reporting today, pushing on through. This is a zooming move, and we're seeing a lot of that anymore where we just extend, extend, extend. There's a, just a massive chase that goes on in these markets. Be really careful of these um, as they continue to extend out. That just makes for a big, dangerous pullback um, when it's over. But watch that closely. KKR staying very, very bullish. How about um, a little bit of Leg Pratt, LEG, will be reporting today. This has been kind of in a long, consolidating move sideways, perhaps that earnings report will either perk us out or break us down. I'm not sure which, but keep an eye on that. TTWO is also on the list today. Keep an eye. Gaming stocks have been unbelievably strong um, uh, during COVID and uh, continue to remain very, very bullish. Looks like it's trying to break through some resistance here to the upside this morning. So watch that closely. Now, if you want to get a full list of the notables that I've pulled out for today, make sure and click that link just below the title of the video of this video, and that will take you back to the morning blog where you can get the full list of those notables.
this morning. Um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, then please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you don't mind, if you feel that this video was worthy, if this helps you in your preparation for the day, if you could click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps us out a bunch in continuing to grow the channel helps those algorithms continue to search for those videos that people like and i do appreciate that very very much you guys are awesome i truly truly appreciate it let's take a look at some of these stocks that are setting up just keep in mind that every time i talk about a stock in these videos it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact I want everyone to understand that these stocks, um, we have to make sure, you have to make sure that you are following your own trading plan, that you're doing your own due diligence for a stock. Just remember that blindly following someone else's trade idea or trade thoughts is not a good idea. You have to understand the risk and make it fit your trading plan. Let's take a look here at a couple of these though that are pretty darn interesting. Take a look at ETN. ETN, um, I placed an alert in here on ETN and I was actually looking at this um, as a potential short for a breakdown in this chart. Notice we had this downtrend here in the chart, but instead we had a bullish thing going on here and we broke through that downtrend. So now keep an eye on ETN as we break through and we deal with some of these price resistance levels in the chart. Let's see if we can rest consolidate in here, pull back. And one of the things I look for in charts is I wanna see if the stock has been running in a downtrend, it must break that downtrend and then prove to hold it as support. And now I've got an upside resumption of trend that I can trade. So keep a close eye on ETM. ETN may be trying to move back to the upside. Take a look at Trex. My goodness, this has been a tremendous upside move. Um, and I mentioned this last week. Apparently, we're building an awful lot of decks during, um, during COVID. And you can see beautiful upside move here in this stock. Pushed down, tested trend, tested support of that trend, tested support in price here. And now we're pushing back up and breaking through. So any rest, pullback or consolidation in here could set up that opportunity for uh, Trex to extend on up to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. Take a look at RIG. RIG, you can see my alert here on the chart. By the way, every time you see one of these pink lines on a chart, you'll know that that's where I've had um, an alert set on that. And you can see RIG doing a very nice job. We pushed up in here, we're consolidating this top up here. Let's watch this for that potential of that bullish move to start continuing to extend this up. We're holding in this nice trend. So watch that closely. Take a look at Intel. Intel's also, I placed an alert across this entire pink line. Notice here that we're trying to break through, trying hard to break through that resistance level. So I'm watching this closely. Intel certainly had some issues here recently with Apple and other companies dropping their chips, going favoring their own chips. But let's watch this in here. If this can hold the rest off of this trend, we could get that bullish move to push this on up. Watch that carefully. Take a look at Generac. Generac um, looking really, really good. This was actually brought up by one of the members of Right Way Options. And as you can see, pushing up in this move, we made that nice higher low here. There's that break of that little downtrend start, holding that higher low, and now we're trying to push higher. So keep an eye on Generac, looking pretty good here overall been keeping an eye on disney here now disney had an amazing extension to the upside um, here in the last couple of weeks breaking that downtrend but the problem i have here is there's been no rest or consolidation in that move making it a pretty dangerous thing to try and chase into right now so i want to watch this for any kind of rest or consolidating pullback in here that can set up that next opportunity in the 
trade. With Disney breaking through, and we know their their um, streaming platform has really um, uh, something to take note of. Let's watch this in here. Any rest or pullback um, sets up a nice opportunity to the upside. Switching gears here just a little bit, we've seen a lot of trouble here in BABA. BABA really breaking down, and I put some levels in here. Uh, we were doing a discussion on this during the Right Way Options class, and I've been keeping a close eye on this. Here's that pattern again where we try to break that downtrend. Notice that right over here, we've got this little uptrend and we're trying right in here to prove that we can hold this level as price support. That's the kind of pattern that I'm looking for. So watch this in here. If we can get that bullish move to start, we could finally break on through this major resistance area and push on up. Keep an eye on BABA. It should be something to just watch and, and be prepared for. How about the Discovery Channel? Discovery has been looking really, really strong here recently, pushing through in these resistance uh, levels. And let's pull this back. I'm gonna go to a weekly chart and notice what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to break all-time highs here in Discovery. So as this rests or consolidates right underneath that resistance level, let's watch this because right now I'm not seeing a big, um, interest in selling this stock. So as this builds, this energy bounces around underneath this level. Let's look for that possibility that we could find that inspiration to push on through and break through to those new highs in the chart. Um, last but not least, I want to mention a couple potential trades that I think um, look pretty good for longer term type trades. Take a look at Oracle. Now Oracle has been moving up in this long term uptrend. And I want you to notice that we've broken out of our 2009 or 20, 1999 um, record highs over here. We finally broke through that resistance. And on this weekly chart, seeing a nice little hold of support and trend and buyer stepping in. Now I won't be surprised if there's a little rest or pullback in this chart to uh, continue to consolidate this uh, nice week that we had last week. But watch that closely. Oracle could be setting up that longer term. And also, I want to keep an eye on 3M. Now, 3M is trying to break this long-term downtrend in the chart. So keep a close eye on that. If this proves any kind of rest or support in here, watch for that opportunity there on 3M for um, a longer-term trade. So with that, everyone, I'm running out of time. There's a lot more stocks that I could cover. There's a lot of good signals out there. I want everyone to have a great day. Be safe in the market. Be careful. And just that reminder, be careful not to chase stocks that are already extremely extended. There's a lot of those right now. We don't want to be chasing those. Look for those low risk entry points for those good quality buys where we can plan the risk of that trade. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.